Hi, I'm Mindy Yoshikawa, and today I have a silhouette tutorial to share um, using shapes by Lori Whitlock and Colette Hall. So for today's um, tutorial, I wanted to focus on how to thicken shapes that are maybe too skinny for certain cardstocks. And so um, I'm going to illustrate some of the different ways you can do this um, on a little um, card here. So I'm just um, deleting some of the shapes I don't need. and um, I'm just going to try to share how you can do this on a variety of different ideas. And um, to start, I'm creating a, a label that I'm going to um, group my sentiment on. And um, bear with me as I um, wasn't sure if I wanted it small or big at first, but I decided I wanted to take um, center stage on my card. And this card is sized to. Um, a2 size which is four and a quarter by five and a half and um, in order to um, thicken my fonts I want to start by um, sizing them to what I really want them to be because if I were to add um, a small little um, uh, border around the letters when they're large when I shrink them down um, the difference will be very minuscule and so I'm gonna flip this bird because I know I want it to sit facing towards my sentiment and now I'm going to size it down just a hair. Drag it over and see how it looks. I fiddle here with it for a second. Just making sure my card size is indeed four and a quarter. And now here I'm going to um, uh, size the border down so that it kind of fits that um, area and doesn't overlap on the flap and I want the end of it to kind of just hide behind the bird. So now that I have the basic arrangement for my card um, I'm going to set to work on um, starting to thicken some of the things. Pull it down just a hair. And the um, last thing I want to add is um, a, another um, portion of my sentiment. And um, I love this font by Lori Whitlock that's called um, LW Dot Sketch. But as you can see, it's very skinny. Um, if I want to cut it out on my silhouette, um, it may even be a challenge for vinyl. And I'm just going to play here with um, the sizing and um, the dimensions of so that it fits my space and so here I'm gonna um, reduce its size because it's just too large I'm gonna drag it back over and see and I think um, I want it to be just slightly tighter in the um, larger spacing for the character spacing so that there's room when I enlarge them that they don't um, weld together but also I wanted to um, reduce the amount of spacing between the two words oops I think I decided that I just wanted them slightly smaller just so that they um, had a little bit more room on it so that they didn't interfere with the um, curve of the Y. So they don't have a 46 point um, font so I just hand typed it in and it, it totally works that way. So now I'm going to work on thickening this and as you can see, the dot on the um, I for wishes is very tight, and so I'd, I'd want to maintain um, the separateness of those two when I make them thicker. So I'm, I'm grouping it, and then I'm going to ungroup the I specifically, or release compound path, and take that I, and I'm just using my up arrow and um, moving it up a hair. And then I'm going to... Um, 
group it back together and then I'm going to group all of them back together so that I can um, do a offset. So I'm going to enlarge the window here. And you can just see how skinny that is. Oops, wrong window. So I'm going to do an offset and I'm going to um, experiment with a couple different sizes. The first thing I'm going to try is 0 0.02 and you can see that's actually pretty nice but just for the fun of it I'm going to try to also um, see what it would be like with just slightly skinnier at 0 0.01 and at this point I'm not sure which one I want because I also want to play with thickening the word birthday so I'm just going to leave them all there and I'm going to go back up and grab the birthday And I'm going to experiment with those same two offsets of 0 0.01 and 0 0.02. Now these aren't um, grossly different. Um, they'd be too thin for a shadow if you cut them out with a different um, set of card stocks colors. But um, it really works well to just kind of um, make the letter more sturdy for um, cutting out, especially if you're using a textured card stock. And I ended up deciding I didn't like the thicker one. I like the 0 0.01. So now I'm going to, um, oops, now I got to group these back together. And so for here, I was originally going to group them all together as one, but I decided when I go to cut them out later, I'm going to want to put them side by side on one line. So um, I went ahead and grouped them each as a word. Now I can move them over and see that they look really nicely with this, uh, they're all the similar thickness. So I'm going to delete these other ones. And drag them back over to my shape and make sure they all fit. card is starting to come together and um, the next thing I'm going to do is um, show you how you can change um, borders just um, by um, doing the offset as well. So in this case I liked the outside scallop but um, I wanted the interior to be slightly smaller. So I did an offset of 0 0.07 I believe and I'm going to um, release compound path for both um, shapes and then um, I'm going to delete the outside of one and the inside or the the main one of the other and then um, create a completely different shape sorta so you can just see that you're able to customize the size of the holes if you would like of a border then I'm going to group these back together. In hindsight, I probably should have um, done a make compound path so that if I wanted to color this in, um, it would have the holes cut out still. But for my purposes, it really didn't matter. Next, I'm going to grab this bird and um, his legs are really um, delicate and um, I might be able to cut them out of a um, uh, vinyl, but out of cardstock, um, those would be Im almost impossible to cut at this size that I have him sized at. So I ungroup the two little legs and I'm, I'm just pushing them apart so that there's a little bit of space between them when I go to um, do an offset. So once again, they don't weld together. And um, for these legs, I experimented with those same dimensions of 0 0.01. And I'm going to show you um, three different ways this time. I decided to do um, 0 0.02 and then I um, wasn't sure if I liked either of those so I tried um, in between the two which is 0 0.015. And in the end I think I decided those were my favorite. Just putting them in between so you can kind of see the difference. And 
I'm just scooting them back together. Of course, I won't keep the bird like this grouped together when I go to cut it, but it just gives me um, a visual representation um, while I'm doing the design process. So the last thing I want to show is for the inside of the card, I had um, a little portion of um, pattern paper with the bird print, and um, I'm ungrouping this uh, scalloped shape and deleting the inside um, little circle cutouts. And um, I'm gonna rotate it here, and um, this is gonna go on the inside. I didn't want it to uh, just be 100% covered on the inside because the pattern paper is too busy to um, write a, a little inside greeting on. So, um, but I wanted it to extend for the full um, side of the card. And um, in order to get that achieved, I measured that it needed to be approximately um, 1.75 inches wide, um, which this is not. So I'm going to um, do one of my favorites, which is um, welding it to a rectangle. And so um, the key is to get um, both of them being the same height, which happens to be um, four and a quarter inches high. And um, after I've created both of them, then I will um, go to the Align um, menu and align them in the middle. And um, I just decided I wanted to scooch this over a little bit, so I'm using my um, arrow to uh, move it to the right. And um, I want to check because I, I do want it to be um, 0.75, so I went ahead and turned on my grid because that's the easiest way for me to see. Um, I use it like a ruler, so I'm scooting it over and kind of visually counting over um, one inch, one and a half, and then I realize it needs to be a little bit wider to be um, one and three quarters, so I just scooch it over. And now I'm ready to weld them together. And so that um, will just go right over there to the side of the card when I'm um, adhering it. Um, I hope you are inspired to try some of these things. Thanks so much for watching.